my main vlogging camera died so I'm shooting on the iPhone now and I came down onto the creek using this my actual digital SLR camera I'm using this green moss right here as the main foreground and kind of shooting outwards and really it's it's not really it's really up close on everything nothing too far away obviously you got this big tree right here more in the way but just really mainly trying to capture this green moss that's right here so i'm shooting that sorry if the camera's shaky because i'm trying to do this so i'm shooting at iso 200 and at f11 at one third of a second uh, sun's coming up i do have to use my hand as a uh kind of block i'm getting um sun flares so i'm gonna have to block that so i'm gonna set the phone down here for a minute I don't have a tripod for it, so if it falls over, and if my hand, maybe I could use this as my tripod to stick. That looks good. All right, so, check my focus, which is right. Everything's good. Put my hand right there. My hand's gonna be probably in the image just a little bit. Yes, I'm still getting a sun flare, so I'm gonna have to probably put my hand in the image a little bit and just crop this a tiny bit. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, everything looks good. Put my hand right there. Not All right, much better. Alright, so I got this scenery right here with this creek and these bridges and walkways. Uh, I'm going to take a Polaroid shot. I am shooting digital as well. I already took that shot, uh, so I'll put that up on the screen real fast for you. Alright, so I'm going to open up a new pack of film. Polaroid Originals Color 600. Eight shots per pack. Uh, so, let's do that because... The lighting is really good over here right now on this scenery. Make sure I take my garbage with me, so I'll put that in my pocket. Don't want to litter here. Comes with instructions. Yeah, don't need them right now. But put those in my pocket as well too. Same thing with the box. And this is the film cartridge. Polaroid Originals. Um, so let's put this in the camera real fast. If you don't know how to load the film, Probably the easiest thing ever. To get out of the package, there's a little orange button on this camera. Some other ones are up here. All depends where, uh, what type of camera you got. And all, all it does is drop open. So you take out the old ink cartridge, not ink cartridge, this isn't a printer, old film cartridge. And make sure you dispose of that correctly because the battery is built in right here. So you might wanna dispose of that like a regular battery. So I'll put the film in. Make sure it clicks, pop up, and then the dark slide comes out. Uh, you really don't need these, so again, I'll take this and dispose of that correctly as well in the trash can. So I'm going to take the picture over here real fast. I'll show you the scenery. Hey little fellas. Alright, so I made it back to the car area. I just want to give you guys a quick advice on Polaroid photography if you're planning on getting into it and never done it before. Uh, one, don't buy your camera on eBay or Amazon or, or anything like that because they're just way overpriced. Um, ask a family member, an aunt, uncle, grandma, they might have one still tucked away in a closet somewhere. Or if not, uh, go to a, your local Goodwill or thrift store. Sometimes you can find them there real cheap. I found a 600 box camera at my local Goodwill, Goodwill store for like $2. So, and the only thing that really powers the camera, they're, I'm going to say 90%, 99% of the time, all the cameras that you find are going to work. Uh, it just all depends on the mirror, but the only thing that powers the camera is the film pack So there's no battery in the camera itself or anything. All it is is 
push the button once that cartridge in and it spits out so it should work so again don't buy online if you do use it as your last resort because again it's pretty pricey on there the camera that I have uh, the SLR 680 that'll run you about 175 to 250 dollars for that camera um, I got lucky enough to get it at my local camera store really dirt cheap like because the mirror was broken in it and then I sent it out to get refurbished and I also put this custom skins on myself so with all that buying the camera having refurbished buying the skins even shipping it out to the place because I had to pay for that too as well it still costs like 75% cheaper than buying it online uh, or even in a camera store because that's what those cameras would cost you even in a camera store uh, that's another place too you could look at your local camera store if you have one and see if they got a Polaroid uh, 600 camera or XX70 those would be a little more expensive but um, yeah you can get them really cheap so use online as a last resort uh, number two uh, keep the film refrigerated uh, if you're not using it right away uh, that's what the Polaroid Originals company requires just to keep the, fre uh, the, the freshness of the film I've tried it uh, both ways non refrigerator and not and refrigerated there's a little difference in the way the film develops but not much but number three keep the film warm if you're in a cold area because you don't want to warm it up especially on the refrigerator at least give it an hour or so the warm up to room temperature before you take it out of the box and start shooting with it because you'll get the best results when the film is nice and I guess room temperature I believe that's what they require on the package actually let's check it out uh, doesn't say on here but yeah okay moving on from that point so again don't buy your camera online use it as your last resort keep the film refrigerated when you're not using it and then keep the film warm when you're using it so you can get the best results in it that's pretty much it I mean you just point and shoot I mean have fun with it that's what photography is don't don't take it serious don't I mean you could take Polaroid serious but try not to have fun with it shoot whatever you can as much as you want all depends how much you want to spend if you want to see the price of the film that's the price $20 a pack so eight shots you might want to be a little careful with it if you're a uh, first time user I know when I first started shooting it and when it was the impossible company I was blowing it like shooting it non-stop every like paycheck I was buying a pack so again t take your time with it enjoy it maybe shoot only the stuff that is necessary stuff that makes it more memorable for you on the location where you're at whether you're on vacation on a hike or even around your home or whatever so that's pretty much it with the Polaroid film um, yeah that's that's pretty much all the advice I got so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a look at these shots for the first time and the results as I thought was going to happen when it's cold weather. They're more of a, the colors are not popping. Uh, they're more of a greenish, bluish type. Yeah, they're not, it's more, yeah, I mean, you can see right there that it's just, it's definitely when the film's cold, that's, that's kind of what happens. I tried my best to keep it warm in these kind of conditions, but that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, that's the vlog or photo vlog, whatever you want to call this video episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. And again, let me know in the comments below if you think I should show more Polaroid uh, stuff on this video or your film in general. So again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.